If the sword and can never disturb a peace, you go one of them. If the sword and can never not get power, you go one of them. Who are them? 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 Who Good evening, good evening, good evening, comrades of the APC and compatriots of Sierra Leone. This is the APC online TV platform. Um, me, where they talk to una, me, my comrade Owen Kasu. Um, today, na the 6th of March 2022, and the time na just three minutes past seven o'clock UK time and Sierra Leone time. Um, with me today, we get very important guests them with the join we in this platform today. For can discuss a very important topic. But before we go into that topic day, I go one for introduce to na we technical team within the platform. We the background with Mr. Prinzo, as well as Professor Delwin with the Utwi. And a host of other um, technical gurus them, in the name of Dr. Denke, who just arrived from Freetown. Mr. Mo Bangura, we served in at the ground, and um, Super Med, Manso, Arun Pape, and all the other members there, Mr. Mufti, all would play a role in the background. One for appreciate them. And then also alongside me, 
co-hosts with no other person, but the most beautiful, the most popular, the most liked lady on social media today, we in a comrade, Sweet Bonita. Sweet Bonita, please come live and say hi to comrades and we guess them. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, viewers, compatriots. This is Sweet Bonita. Every week in and out, I like to say good evening to everyone and especially our wonderful guests because without them, we'll be struggling to have the show just for the two of us. So I'm yeah. very grateful to have these guests on board tonight. Thank you very much, Bonita. Um, today, we one can deal with a very, very important topic. The topic we want to deal with today, now SLPP, a disaster for the economy, Sierra Leone. But before we delve into the topic proper, we all see why make we term this, we give this topic a tagline, a disaster for Sierra Leone. Just today, Waiting it happen, that's really on now evidence of why make the economy will be used in that kind of terminology as a disaster for Sierra Leone. We have a regime, we have we had a democratic political party, we come the power through a democratic process but then gradually transform themselves into a regime, a military barbaric regime, where they muzzle with people them, we vote for them, and they marginalize, and they intimidate, and they kill, and they do all sorts of things. They put some kind of economic policies them, where they destroy, the economy and they make the people and suffer the level of poverty that the country today don't make we as Sierra Leoneans they come together for agree for make we try for see how we go about proper a solution to this problem. One of the reasons why make this regime not able to make the economy go and the level of violence within the inflict on people them, the ordinary Sierra Leoneans them, we get rights for belong, we get rights for associates, we get rights to protest. Them basic fundamental human rights, they don't take them away from them. Before we start this um, show, I will get for Guna an evidence of somebody wearing an SLPP operative. We, they live in the UK. Um, this guy, this guy don't sort of um, present himself as an APC operative, as an APC supporter or an APC sympathizer. But today, a day in Sierra Leone, it don't pose, it don't come out of his shell, it don't declare itself as a candidate of SLPP, campaigning for a symbol for SLPP, and instead don't go join the bandwagon of the retreats of human rights violations. We from this president to the first lady to all the officials, them na SLPP, they do. Instead of them go join somebody with them, sort of live for years in the UK, who would expect say that person where they expect human rights. Well, this guy go a joint bandwagon of telling people them of Lokomasama chiefdom for say anybody. We betray them, or we don't vote for them, we don't support them. Then we begin capture them, beat them. We all remember when the first lady pronounced mob justice 
The next day, we see ministers them, we see police them, we see army man them, and they go on the streets, they capture innocent civilians them, beat them all over the place. This is the gentleman, what did they call Mr. Ishmael um, Kanu or something, where they live in the UK and also, and Isidom opposed with the vice president, Julia Jalo. This guy, recently the APC UK and Ireland had a general meeting. This guy was there posing as an APC operative or APC supporter. Today, now the same guy, nine, they all a platform na lokomasama. They tell him people them for say, make them begin beat the people them, where they come for come beat them party. Well, I got a video where I go share I'm with Wina. For make the message go clear, let everybody see, let comrades then see. What in this guy is made of? Somebody who don't live in the West, who would expect much from, but no, and not do what in people in the expect them for do. Decide for go, for go tell the people and say they for beat anybody. We not support them party. We don't hear that from Julia. We don't hear that from different different political figures. Then, but here's the video for learn herself, see and for herself. They will go start the show proper. When I listen to this back. Right. Sweet Bonita, you don't listen to this guy, you don't watch this guy, and I don't know if you shall be this guy, if you don't have a general meeting, APC meeting, and all the meetings they hold their own line as that guy will go there. Today, he don't go declare himself. I go in a salon recently. I did drive down one road. Somebody chased me with a bike. He go stop me vehicle. He say, somebody want for talk to me, want for see me. So I say, who don't this person? He call the person name, but I know not be the person. So he, go, he got for force me for turn around and come back right to the top of the road for come meet this person. Here. So who want to talk to me? I come up to the place. I meet this very guy, this Ishmael guy. He come on inside a crowd of um, young ladies, them, some guys, them, they prepare for, put on some SLPP t-shirts, them, for go to some rally. The Lunge area around um, Mahara. This guy come, he can hug me. I say, my man, what did he do here? He say, in the aspire for this position, he has so now from Sama, in, if I can get the symbol, but let um, me get the symbol against Combo. I don't do all the developments then I, I said, well, I said, so now SLPP party, you decide for can join, for can get this power now. So now I said, well, I said, you don't suffer. I said, we go drag on some kind of drag. I said, no, you don't go believe. So I laugh about it. So I even go to the crowd where they get up. I go meet the ladies and I tell them, see. I said, now where the green alone on rally? I said, but where the term rich for put on the, 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 the box? I said, now episode that they put on for. I said, I know. I said, no. So the ladies and they laugh. You know, they take and say, you know, this guy just come, like, pay them for let them go do rally. You know, why not? They give them free t-shirts and stuff like that. They don't go do them. But me no say, who na na APC there? I say, Lungi, who na don't see what APC don't do for na. Who na don't see, and I don't feel say, who na go look ping. From what you na go to na this country right now, who na go support SLPP. I say, me no say, na rally no more, who na go do the rally. I say, but what the time reach? Who na go put out, who na the guys place na go put out. The lady, they all they laugh, but I know within them, they no say, that the game where they play, where they say you are a melon politics. So um, I want to send it over to you quickly, sweet Bonita, let yourself weigh into this one. But this guy, na a mission of intimidation, we will not be the expect.
from um, you know, la distika and for can practice na lokom sama. But the people of Lokom Sama, they don't hear it. They don't get the message very, very clearly. Over to you, um, Sweet Bonita. Well, honestly, um, Commander Wankas, with regards to Ishmael, for me, it's not somebody far from home. Because when I saw the video yesterday, I had to call the brother. I'm like, is that your brother? Because for me, I saw so many insults going for the mother. And I'm like, no, we don't need to insult the mother. The mother is so thrilled that if she had any of those ones, she's just going to go off. I said, so it's better we just hold him, bit him up mercilessly <laughs> to the point that he cannot move. That is, that's what I said to the brother. I'm like, that's all we can do. Because insulting the mom, I've seen the mom. And she's not in that position for a son of such. As you said, he was an APC because they did not give you a symbol and you decide to go. Do you think they're going to trust you where you're going? To be honest, for me, I've always said there's no point for me to insult somebody on social media. There are ways which we can defeat ourselves. As you said, it's through the ballot box. So the people of Lokoma Sama, just be rest assured that we are with you, we will support you. And if they want, as we said, they can build a lot of prison, but it cannot accommodate everyone. So we will have to vote for APC. Even if they decide to bring guns and everything, we're still going to vote for APC. Let them spend the money because for now they are in governance. So let them spend the money. And I think he said he has put on some solar lights. He has spent over 70, whatever. Is that what you will kill somebody for? Because you spend to make a solar light. They should vote for you for solar light. What about the food? What about the roads that you're going to work on? Like, for real, it's it's totally wrong. Absolutely. And for me, killing is not the point. We just hold him and beat him. Beat him properly. <laughs> properly. <laughs> Sweet bonita. Okay, no problem. I get your message. Um, <laughs> now we're coming into the um, program proper. We get two very important guests in us today. Um, for can discuss this topic about the economy. And um, it's not about party, it's not about anything, but we think it's important for bring up people away, like-minded when our people away, they, 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 they feel the pain we Sierra Leone, they feel to the way we'll articulate and to we, the viewers and audience, they already view and participate by this program, um, regardless of their political um, um, affiliation. Um, first of all, we get the APC operative with with NASA. We, we, we now the diaspora ambassador. We the go to Leone all the time. We go operate there on behalf of the APC. We are with strong political, um, social media commentators. Them, you know, bloggers. Them, we they do a lot for we now. So we make we the proud. We challenge the issues. Them, um, the topics. Them within our social media. It's not a person, but Political Ibarry, we do to win our so today. And uh, Political Ibarry, please come quickly and say hi to comrades and compatriots. Hi, listeners and viewers around the world. Uh, good evening. And so I look forward for a very good, uh, you know, panel discussion about the future of the country, economical situation, and also What's in the solution and which way forward? So looking forward to it. Okay, um, political Ibarry, thank you very much. Um, next of we very important um, guest that we did also with we today. Now no other person but um, Mr. Alan Alan Luke. Make us see if I get them correctly because um, yes, Alan Luke, now in the former NGC chairman in the UK and Ireland. Mr. Alan Luke is here with us today for can talk to me about the disaster we SLPP you know, inflicts on the people of Sierra Leone with regards to the economy, the rise in the price of um, commodities in the market. And I therefore commend the NGC party um, to the leader, um, Dr. Dennis Bright and others, including Alan himself, who are a very strong contributor to the market research we don't make in terms of bringing 
out to the people of Sierra Leone will rise in the prices of commodities from week to week, month to month, and how it did affect the people and the ordinary people in, in the country. Over to you, Mr. Alan Luke. Come to, um, live and say hi to comrades and compatriots. Good evening, everybody. Good evening to all Sierra Leoneans, wherever you are. If you're in Sierra Leone, I say uh, tell them all good evening in Cabo and Kusha. If you're in America, you know, UK, wherever you are, good evening. And I look forward to a very fruitful discussion about how we move Sierra Leone forward for the better and for the good of all well-meaning Sierra Leoneans. Thank you so much, Mr. Alan Luke. And I want to tell you plenty thank you for a short notice for come for come, you know, join we at this very, you know, platform. We really appreciate your time and we hope to see we will get a very fruitful um, you know, um, conversation here tonight. Um, Sweet Bonita, as you know the topic now, the economy. Um, I just want to know if people are not beginning joining to the platform now so we can kick off straight away. Oh yes, we have our regular viewers. Agatha Conte, and we have Philip um, Soba Samura. Okay. We also have Melvin Thomas, Janet and um, Gabriel, and this are uh, like people week in and week out. Esther Kaloko. It's so Ibrahim Bunda, um, Kanu Mohamed Soba also is with us this evening, and these are the people. Junior Cabo. No, I think these are the ones that literally have subscribed. So the sooner we were live, the next three minutes we had about 30 people. So vote okay. at Anti Z, Anti Zainab Sharif, she's always in Sierra Leone Prezo, Sanga. Oh, I'm Roland um Winston. Again, everybody there here. So all we can say is for people to continue to subscribe and every week we'll bring them a wonderful, wonderful show. Because without them, definitely will not be here. So I would like to say good evening. And all of them also are saying we should be able to share and subscribe because as that, we don't need to be sharing the link. Yeah. That's what we have on the platform at this minute. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much once more, Sweet Bonita. And we're coming to the program proper now. Um, before we start the program, I want to show now a short video of um, traders in Sierra Leone. We decide for closed and shops. And say they need to sell. We know what it means for Sierra Leoneans then, because some of the people in Sierra Leone, they always they go in the morning, then go sell before they get something where they can um, cook for it. So if somebody decides say I need to go sell today, you can imagine the amount of pressure where it get for go through, the amount of problems where they go through for make let it take that decision day, not for go sell. For the day for the people forget something for feed in family. Make us share this video where I would be quickly and then from there we can go into the discourse. As soon as I can notice from the video, and I see even though there's noise, but I go, you say people and they say, we know they sell. And not only this video we get, we get quite a number of them, but we'll share them as we go along small, small. But clearly the people they say, we need to sell because all team there, and there's no regulation, there's nothing where we can, you know, write home about when it comes to the economy since this regime come to power. So we want for um, let Alan come in quickly and, Join we and see, you know, just give you an overall reality of what SSF don't see from social media and how as a political party, then SSF don't do a lot for green cam, you know, to the notice of we people and Sierra Leone, our prices then they go up and up and up all the time. So just like a, a short overview of what in you know, do as a political party under NGC for support we Sierra Leone and then in terms of understanding the price um, issues than other country. Okay, um, thanks for that. Thanks for um, allowing me to 
um, sort of kick off this discussion. I think one of the things we, I'll say a couple of things. Um, clearly, uh, what we're seeing is some uh, people in a way, obviously the shopkeepers, they way own shops, close their shops and say they're not a sell, um, linked to this um, government desire to uh, uh, take, collect this GSTT tax. Uh, a couple of things to say on that. One is, it's clear that one of the concerns that the uh, traders then get is the fact that then they pay a GSTT or it appears that then they pay GSTT twice and they pay GSTT when they import their goods. And then the government also seem for, they expect them for also pay GSTT again for from the trading that we then they make. Clearly, if um, the traders, the, the importers that don't pay then GSTT, we then go clear their goods now, um, now what's a key then it is wrong. It is um, not sensible for the government for demand GSTT payments from them from then trading. So that, that has one way the government get for address. Um, because of course, uh, you know, traders there not for the pay more, uh, tax more than once. I say also another thing is I think genuinely every trader we involve in business get for paid taxes, get so many other challenges and, and, and things that they, they, they're faced with. Uh, I think every trader go one for know exactly waiting at the tax they're waiting for pay. And I'm sure every trader will willingly pay for GSTT if it's charged once, um, and then go willingly also pay for their business rates if, 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 if that is where, where that is charged. But, what they wouldn't want to do is to be paying those taxes, then at the same time having to pay all sorts of other illegal taxes, like I don't think they can call in facilitation fee or bribery or having to put a policeman or an army man that you pay all, all in the way they ruin um, the uh, businessman, their ability for make profit um, from their business and recover their cost. Uh, Ms. have uh involved in in, in, me, in in my life in running my own business. So you you understand the challenges of business. Um, you know, it's very easy for the one that we way no the run your business for thing to say, you know, everything is very profitable. But now you already run your business, now you know your obligation, and now you know what kind of debt you get, what kind of don't go borrow money, or what kind of interest gets you to pay. And it's important that the government um, recognize that. So for me, if the traders then don't pay them GSTT tax, if they don't pay them at source, and if that is when they collect their goods, then they should not be asked to pay for it a second time. So the government get for address that issue there. I also say another thing about this, which is that we need for ensure um, that business groups, business groups representatives actually speak on behalf of business groups. You know, the economy of Sierra Leone is not just in the hands of political parties. You know, business interests, employers, you know, groups, you know, trade union groups, all men get a part and a responsibility for let we ensure Sierra Leone in success, Sierra Leone economic success. So on an issue like this, if we traders then get genuine concerns around GSTT tax collection, then I'd expect for see business interest groups and like a then, uh, you know, Chamber of Commerce for come out and add their own voice and speak for their members so that they can make sure say, then they put pressure on government as well so that these people only pay the tax that they need to pay and then not get or pay any more tax than the stipulated tax, but also when then they pay tax, when then they pay the proper tax and business rates, that they not get for them pay other things like a bribe and facilitation fee and then kind of and then. One of the other things um, with this um, scenario they reveal is really how, um, difficult the economic situation is on the ground. So you you go remember this, you don't allude to that. Um, you know, this uh, thing where NGC don't do on the ground, this cost of living, you know, a few months ago, 
uh, the team where you mentioned Dr. Bright and uh, Arthur Pierce, then pull this report card uh, and then look at these prices and then and just sit on the track of you know, food prices, uh, uh, inflation since August, 2018. And one of the things with them, obviously doing the report card is actually just to look specifically at um, items that we go make a meal for a family of four. And then cost stand there uh, when they do the last research. And then work out, say, it comes to 68,000 leons. And for, for, for cook one meal for a family of four. And then when you take into account the um, minimum wage, it's 600,000. It means, say, a family of four. And then they're lucky when they will get job with you on the minimum wage because mm -hmm. there's many people that will not get job at all. Yeah. Only able for afford nine meals a day. And then are just nine, one meal or not for nine, three meals a day. Uh, one meal. And then are assuming, say, that person did not get for pay anything else, like a transport or light bill or rent or any of them. Today. So what you see on the one hand, you know, in terms of the state of the economy of Sierra Leone, on the one hand, you've got a large bunch of consumers were not able to buy basic food stuff. And a large bunch of that will be going hungry. And then you get this absurd situation now where the government did now hit these um, uh, 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 businesses uh, with this GSTT drive. Because you know what? The, the problem is, it's symptomatic of the state of the economy that's been badly managed in the last uh, four years. Because what it tells you is that the government of the day, the only policy instrument we be your government get for managing the economy now is what they call revenue, uh, revenue mobilization. We, um, the government in performance in terms of uh, the budget deficit is so significant, but the only, the only thing where it can affect is that revenue, uh, uh, revenue generation. So just give you some figures. Budget deficit in 2019 was 2.9% of GDP. Budget deficit predicted for 2020 was 5.7%. Uh, 5 so the budget deficit don't grow. You know, uh, Panda Yumkela, for example, don't talk a lot about this fitty fatter spending where the government don't spend. So you can see, say, the government not get any um, economic levers or any tools or expertise for control the economy. The only area where you can zoom in on is collecting tax revenue. Now that make my daddy hot. Now that make then they push this issue of this GSTT um, uh, for collector. Because they want to continue for spend. Uh, the public bureaucracy don't expand. We not get money to pay for the spending that we don't want to do, and but then get for spending money somehow. Uh, and at that day, I didn't know more than able to look at, which is collecting tax revenue. The economic performance is so bad, so they need to keep collecting this tax revenue. So we've got a very state, uh, funny state of play where, on the one hand, you've got consumers we not get the means for pay for goods and services because they just not get the income. And then on the other hand, You've got um, businesses who, you know, are being pushed because this government now needs to turn to them for collecting revenue. Okay. Thank you so much for your first submission. Very, very informative, very articulately placed. Um, you mentioned quite a number of things that I also about the rise in the um, inflation, um, you talk about people that will not trade as them, will not be even know say the government itself will force them to put um, a police officer or a army man inside their payroll for making them say get a chance for get paid. <laughs> oh my goodness. You mentioned about the tax winning the take now what's a key. We're supposed to be the GSTT tax when they pay inside the goods the way they come inside the country. Because we live on everything now, they come that two water key in the past. Now, 
when and go inside the market or the shops them for go sell them goods them then they come for kind of levy or the tax system over them well i want to come to me political eye barry now so um but before i come to him um mr luke mentioned something very very keen and also for say business representatives for the able for come and engage with governments about which and which in the upon about the economy and one of them we talk about the commerce um i think um are you call chamber, uh, chamber of commerce chamber of commerce chamber of commerce yes um i just want to share one short video with we and also of one of the business people them head of the business people them where the whole very good percent of businesses the way they come in Sierra Leone we be the advice at one time we'll get a crisis in Sierra Leone let us just bring up this video quickly make a share out we so we are waiting in money self say and then we'll go move on over to political ibarry and see how we go for moves forward thank you you know, look what in Kosai the pain there, you mean the pain, you go down all the pain killer in a pharmacy, you know where. This is not the Dala issue. What is the problem for this Dala issue? I'm sorry, you talk say, now not talk about trade, and now go to Minister of Trade. But Minister of Trade, Finance, and all the connect to Bank of Governance because. Now you, they look, now you now with banker, now you all thing, all thing now to you with the cry for. Can you tell what you have with the say, why the bank govern, why the bank, the central bank govern? Now, yeah, what the king, when people then, the custom way people then they pay in this country, nobody in West Africa, in England, the custom way they are, they are passing here. That's one. Two, when the people they pay this money, so the government now will protest them for like they sell, then get the money back. Three. Now, the salary economy is little on a treat. You, you, a businessman, you for advice government. If you tell government in the ministry of um, um, finance and trade, they all then connect to each other. So if you advise them, then go grieve for you. Now the salary economy they don't have it. The half half money won't have to get. Now the trust people they were they're not they paying nothing to government then can they make in a treat. When the business people them would have been they bring 10 container one each month, if they bring one container, then a 12 container for the calendar month. For the one year. So now, of course, they bring one here in the cell and buy plastic because of the custom way there. No one in the common side can buy there. Labria, they've been the campaign there. Here, they've been the campaign there. If them people then they buy, nobody don't have a suit for dollar. The economy, they thin up because they know they take the in the front, they can buy now. They know they take the, the Labria and dollar, they can buy now. The US dollar, then they can buy. When business, the businessman don't sell outside, in a foreign currency, they said, we get them foreign currency in the, in the campaign in the for, for other other markets. But now, in it is so far now, yeah, because in the export, you bring one container, you they sell and all by plastic, nobody know they can buy to you because of the market dear pass in it. Okay. Um Political library, you don't listen. We all don't listen to this. In a nutshell, this man not seem to be an educated economist, but in his own terms, in his own way, he seems to understand how the business to go, how the government. I think he was talking to the bank governor here. Mm -hmm. How to put policies then for make the markets grow, make the economy grow. These are some of the representative way we mentioned today. Say they for come forward and talk, mm -hmm. and. We don't see some of them video there, so thank God we keep some of them here. So now, political eye what do you see from all of this mess we don't happen right now? As we we border now, so don't articulate them very well. Don't lay out some of the things they don't see the growth in GDP now. So 
the debt they will not get now, they go from 2.9% to 5 point something percent. We not, the government not get source of generating revenue. So now for come back to the people them, for can levy tax after tax after tax. You want, you know, one of the business people them, where they invest in Sierra Leone heavily. How do you see all these um, things put down together by um, the comrade Alan? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh... Wankasu, moderator. Um, first and foremost, uh, this regime, particularly uh, this SLPP regime, they've now been come with plan. You know, they come, you know, they come talk all kind of things because they want win election, they want get power. But actual plan, they've not been getting no plan for the economy, food security, and um, basically uh, foreign investment. You name it, they never get any plan. Actually, their whole plan was get power, you know, enjoy the benefits from gaining power. So mm -hmm. that makes you see the economy don't tumble, and uh, since where they start, it's getting worse every year. Nasuba and I. The reason being, I mean, they get more of they get economists among them. You know, we actually studying at the West, we, uh, like the bank governor, apparently a lecturer uh, somewhere in the University of Colorado or so. And, um, but what happened here is then go get a classroom economist. So uh, then get no idea how really the economy in a Sierra Leone way, the businessman, the way just, interview we just uh, saw in video we say the economy lead on a street that says it all now this um may i just touch on this um gst quickly this gst itself uh, shows how these people them uh, this regime they just work into things where they don't really put no plan in place just like um, the um, free and quality education with them, with them fixing at the flagship, free and quality education is a good idea, but it's a, they, they just mess everything up from start to beginning to today is everything messed up. Why? Because they're not get planned. They just use it as, as a campaign slogan. And this is why we are here today in all the uh, areas the way they try for say then they can't fix and they can improve, then fail all, okay? Now, the idea of GST, first and foremost, in the West, you get what you call it, it's similar to the VAT, value added tax. Now, value added tax is really a very good way of spreading taxation. You don't understand? Because mm -hmm. um, the, gov the, the government, no one focus on one area, forget tax. So then spread the body where they make sure say the taxation is efficient, effective, and it will bring them more money. And um, it, it's uh, it, 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 it consistent, you know, it, it will continue. I mean, you know, we say um, Every day, if they collect from VAT, because you know VAT, when you go buy something, then you 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 automatically they get a pay without mm -hmm. even you know feel upset. You but know what are the benefits from that? And what are the so far? Yeah, right. So it is a tax system where you just, but this regime they're not able to implement anything. Wrong timing, the wrong place and wrong method. That is why we get this crisis today. You, we talk about the customs. The customs, uh, Watakiana, you know, it is out of conveniency, apparently, that this regime focus more on collecting taxes from Wataki because they're not able to create a structure whereby mm -hmm. they understand it allow goods for come inside, mm -hmm. okay? And then allow the business people them for come with goods them inside. And then goods them will be affordable 
to the population. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you organize a way where then the consumer, where then they go mm -hmm. buy, then goods here, then they pay a very moderate tax on each of them items the way that they pay without even feeling the pinch. You don't understand? Mm. So what essentially this government they do is double taxation and total mm. bureaucracy. Yeah. And this type of form of collecting tax is not known to people then. It's very strange. You don't understand? So then just for more, from today to tomorrow, they begin distribute machine. I don't see that machine actually, because I go to one uh, store where they, they show me their machine and the way they can just drop for them without any proper information, without any sensitization, without any form of respect to the business community. Because then think say the majority of them business people are. They are illiterate or they are not Western educated because then Sabi read and write. Most of them Sabi read and write anyway, but they are not Western uh, educated. But Western theory, theor uh, economic theory, not necessarily the work in we own society. Okay, because the way we own economies are structured, that is not how Western economy is structured. So it's not necessarily you able to put up one to one, okay? And that's not they fail for realize. Then arrogantly, they just go impose things then to, on the people then, thinking that we know better, we are educated, we are from some of them, from, from countries like the United Kingdom or United States. Uh, also now, so this is why they, they don't fail miserably, okay, okay. on that front. So the need for withdraw everything back, then go to the drawing board. Okay. okay. Now, coming to the next, uh, the um, the business representative there with the governor, he talk about currency. Okay. Now, I just want to talk for 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 the benefit of listeners. I just want to talk why make with currency. It depreciates, and. When they say we can hear about depreciate, but the opposite of depreciate is appreciate. So, for the last, uh, I must say, since um, uh, the Civil War, after the Civil War, we currency continuously the depreciate, you know, the appreciate. Okay, so why? And um, the problem is. Um, I know only this, the, the, the problem now is it don't exacerbate with this regime. It, it don't pass mark, it don't go out of control. Now, deliberate, want... a deliberate attitude or not the way that Sabi, they not Sabi, because you they talk about the get Western educated people, them way down kind of the country under this regime. What in the do? You see, like classroom ideas and get what in wrong. You say the Western, Western economic policies, them. They work directly with the you know African economic system because of the system, the way the society is, is structured. So yeah, yeah. So yeah. what you yeah. really I, 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 I just want to give you example now. I go say it's partly lethargic attitude, lazy attitude of, of trying for solve a problem, a problem where they no say, um. Uh, the, it, it's not convenient, it's convenient for them for left and so, you know, not really for, for, for take on the root cause of such problem. Now, a currency, generally they depreciate because one, lack of exports, two, lack of foreign direct investment, that is FDI, okay? Now, some of you will be older enough we remember in the 80s, from the 70s, the 80s, we currency been the perform very well. Why? Because we've been the export, okay? We've been also the get foreign direct investment. So we currency been very competitive, okay? Now, now we need it happen. Now it not happen. And may I give you some of foreign uh, direct investment we've been the get? Or what you will mean the export will be very valuable. 
in the 70s, 80s, we've been the export diamond in large scale. Now for people that were older enough, then go remember say, the real problem is that as NDMC, National Diamond Mining Corporation closed, okay? Then the Sierra Leone Produce Marketing Board got basically weak, wiped out, okay? This is where the problem begin now. We currently begin the for dog so, what, because- what, what, what I want to focus now on, hmm. the state of the economy in the past four years when SLP become a, a, a power, because we we all don't see for 10 years how we economy will really go during the 2012, 2013, going forward, what the economy now one of the fastest growing economy in the world. And um, then we, we can't get hit by the Ebola and the price of um, iron ore, which is one of our main commodities that will be the exports. The price can't drop in the international uh, market. So that affects the economy. But from the 10 way um, APC come out now power, the economy been there at, um, I don't know, I think they fluctuate between four point something percent growth and not being stagnated, not being really the drop or anything like that. But from then onwards, waiting really at the cause of the serious, serious thing. But before you come to that question, uh, answer day, Mr. Barry, uh, just want to make Sweet Bonita come in quickly. You get something for say to we quickly. Sweet Bonita, over to you. Yeah, um, Camilla Rancastle, what I think our um, panelists are trying to say, it's maybe they've decided to use more of education away. The thing we are forgetting to mention is common sense. Because remember when the Fulani man was speaking to the bank governor, it's like, when I go to finance and I go to trade, they send me back to you. When I come to you, send me to them. So it's like, you don't even know what the problem is. Let me tell you where the problem is. We buying goods, it's expensive. So before, people from Guinea and Liberia will come and buy from us. And they come and buy in foreign currencies. So that means we are having more money. Now they are not coming because it's too expensive. Yeah. So that means there is no flow of money. Absolutely not. And with this administration, as we've always said, when they came, the little common sense is what they left. They came with all their degrees, professors. I don't think they've even employed anyone that has just masters. Everybody was a professor. So based on that, a theory version of the practicality of what is going on is completely yeah. on what's happening. Can you I can know? read about things and you come. When you do your visibility study, you'll be like, well, for my own common sense, if this is what the book says, and I know it's not going to work in this particular setting, I need to adjust to the people's own way. And this is where they are failing. Because Can like, again, like again, when um, Police Hello. Barry said, okay. oh, they are trying to deal about the VAT. We pay VAT. I go to Costco, I pay VAT. But there are certain items which I don't pay VAT on. And you don't tell the person that is selling in Costco, if I'm a businessman, I bought in Costco, I'm not paying that VAT because I have my um, codes and all that. When I come to the store, then the, 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 the consumer or the customers come and pay that because you have to go back and claim it. But with this administration, it's not going to happen. How do you get the people to pay twice or pay it three times? When people are saying their goods is completely out of the way, it's wrong. Okay, it's wrong. Can I? Can I just? Um, sweet bonita, I think in a nutshell, you don't wrap them up for we completely from from both speakers. Them, you don't just wrap them up for we find find one. Yes, um, you want um, button quickly. Yeah. Yeah, I want to just make a point where I think to say all salon people the need to just accept. And I think I very started on this. this. For me, this is not an issue about common sense or non-common sense or Western theory or non-Western theory. The simple issue is this government led by Bill came for one sole purpose, and that now for make sure they then personally enrich themselves. They had no plan to govern, no idea to govern. So no matter whether they go bring the best and the brightest from, uh, you know, uh, Harvard or wherever, if your intention is wrong from the outset, it is wrong. When you look at that Fuller Chief where it go meet the bank governor, again, it 
point I was making about the need for business groups to represent business interest. That was a very clear example that Fuller Chief, because he members, then they feel the pinch of this GSDT being charged, you know, at source because now they number day for applying then tax they are at customs where you declare your goods rather than as uh, I barrier said allow goods for coming and then you later then apply VAT or whatever tax you see because that fuller chief understand the impact on their fuller business manager now that make you go speak but waiting waiting be lacking is you not see anybody else in the business community then join their voice for so you know what in this because when nothing they come up with that video they've been come up, it go viral not 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 free talk a lot of people let I me mean, they talk about it how this will like you go lecture the bank governor on real economics but what you not see following that is any further action by business groups in general or say, yes, it don't, it don't talk for businesses so we they represent business interests. As I say, the ordinary businessman with the trade in a salon go want for pay in tax once, not twice, not three times. If you get for paying it, a paying it. If you get for paying corporation tax, a paying corporation tax, you know, uh, you know, things like that, and pay all anything and a due, yeah? But in no one for do all of that and do one twice. And in order for do that and they get for the pay facilitation fee and other kind of bribery and other things, the way they harm in profits. Because everybody will go into business, one for develop them business, one for expand them business, one for invest in them business. And you know, this issue, when we talk about this economy, there's so many facets to it. One of the things that really kills our own economy right now where they make salon economy not a function, is that area where you know the economists then talk about lack of inventory? So what do you define that in a salon economy is because the business climate is so challenging, business might not invest. You see, and if you're not the investor, so if if you're not a businessman, you go in, you set up one shop, yeah, you know how for invest or open a second shop, but if you invest or open a second shop, you go create jobs. Imagine you, you know, if you, we all then now so now UK, Alan Sugar, where he started, you always tell him, I say, you know, he means, you know, doing trading uh, is then also, now I'm a multi-billionaire, get massive businesses. So you just start a business, you just start with the intention of, I start with one, and then I multiply, I hope to two, five, and I saw you to go your business. And at that way, you to create jobs. So what you find out is, this government, led by this president, not get any idea of how to run a country economy. If you take, they will go into some of these figures. Real GDP, 2019, 5.4%. Contracted to 2.7% by 2020. Likely even be lower. Inflation, 14.8% in 2019. 17% now. Food inflation is actually about 18.8%. Hmm. So you can see why the cost of living crisis is challenging. Yeah? Uh, something that we, uh, I very will talk about, the current account deficits, it don't grow from 13.5% in 2019 of, uh, of total GDP. It's become 15.6%. What does that mean? It means we're exporting less and less. So you know the export things. We are exporting less and less. We got a government that came in, one of our biggest sectors of exports, then take Belfour, then shut down mining for nearly two years. Then they go for take, then, you know, uh, put their tail between their legs, they go big, they come little and they're not sue me when they lost the case. Hmm. I mean, how bonking mad and stupid can you be? This is one of your biggest source of, of revenue. You know, you public debt in Sierra Leone, 2019, 70% of GDP. By 2020, it has become 77% of GDP. Again, 
look, public debt, that means the, gov the money where the government owe to external people. And also some of that is also domestic debt to internal businesses. Yeah, imagine it's grown from 70% to 77%. Wow. So what it means is, look, that big chunk of your economy, 77% of it is public debt. Public debt, can you imagine so that? You just show you, say, the situation is killing. Now, yeah. if you look, uh, 2020, by the end of 2020, the dollar, 9,845 leons to a dollar. It is now at least about 11,100 uh, or 200 leons to a dollar. And if you're a business person in these, con uh, in these conditions, you know, faced with your value of your currency the decline, we're not selling our goods, faced with GSTT, a bin double charge, then you get all the unofficial taxes that you get for pay and bribery. How can you do business in that environment? How can you create jobs for people and forget jobs? So you get an economy where it just becomes stale. The only thing that's happening in our economy is the growth in the bureaucracy. Yeah? So for example, give you some good examples. You sack Nene, or you learn as you sack him because you move Mrs. Tunis from Miss Tunis or Mrs. Tunis from foreign uh, uh, minister because you get to create space for useless um, David Francis. So what you do, you create Western area minister, resident minister. Absolutely. Or Nene Tunis. That means uh, you need your own civil service bureaucracy yeah. to support that. Yeah. What did he do? <laughs> it's not the job is of a Western area minister. God what is that which he did. Western it money. Nothing. Yeah. You get um COVID to go on. The government go by with in 30 V8 uh, 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 land cruisers. One of them V8 and they if you want to buy them, it is okay like at least if now you can you do want to buy one of them and they you talk at least probably 70,000, 80,000 pounds. Correct, correct. And, they, and I salary the buy them. So you get for buying, you get for cheaper. Can you imagine? So, you know, recently we got a president where they go around um, Cambia and put local. <laughs> and we say said the permission of buy all the cheap uh, 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 SUVs. SUVs so they can vote for them. You see, so this is where we have our economy right now. You know, the economy is sat in a place where the only thing that's happening is how we go that bureaucracy, you know, pack more and more um, SLPP supporters into jobs. They spend fitty fatter, panting away, nor they bring any use or uh, positive, you know, way you get out of it. There's no benefit of these things that you buy. Mm -hmm. you, you can buy so many motor okay, you know, all you just do is you run and treat them, then pack up with them, you know, then the, the well, now you know, there's no real tangible benefit. So that when you look at the economy, what you know is one, we get a country that is run by people who are economically incompetent, but who don't really care anyway, because that's not the reason why they come into power. They've come into power simply to make money at the quickest possible time. And that's why Sierra Leoneans and Geffen make sure so when they go in the ballot box, notwithstanding all the things that we hear um, from your former comrade who's now joined the SLPP, but Sierra Leoneans, and when they go back to the ballot box in 2023, Geffen ask them the questions, and the self the question, can you really afford to put up with another five years of this disastrous presidency under Julius Madabio? Good question. What's Good question. Good question. What's in them bribe you with? <laughs> Can you actually survive? If this is how bad it has been in the last four years, yes. can you run the risk of another five years under this presidency? Absolutely. That's the question we have to ask yourself. Okay. Thank you so much for the submission. I think economically, um, 
we don't kind of outline some of the things them from the economic perspective, it wrongs the way this government don't do. So now I want to make me shift them over politically, um, Mr. Ibarri, is this a deliberate thing by this government for Cam for Cam Lose? Because you start off with that and Mr. Alan Seth don't, don't kind of expand them, you know, because they come for can win election with no intention of actually ruling. For four years now, then people are really sorry for the people of Sierra Leone for no see which they do so really you not know, fair. So why didn't they continue for bring them economic policy them or for you know because the last time I see they they they, 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 they go do a propaganda sort of say they don't reduce five percent now what's a key so now straight away every uh, uh, shop for reduce five percent the next the next day so all of these things. I don't know why did it bring come some kind of a brutal kind of way. By the time you think of it, they don't go lock people and shop them. They can't sit on the social media. They, 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 they brag about how they perform. Mr. Ibarri, I want to look at them from a political perspective now. So not left the economy side now, but. Yeah, well, um, first and foremost, it's mind blowing, to be honest. Uh, some of the political decisions and way um, this government will take in terms of, um, you know, um, revamping the economy. In fact, all what in them they do, now the opposite of what in somebody normally supposed to do for a, a build an economy. This is a government where they spend more than what in the air, okay? Every day, then they create massive bureaucracy way they cost them a lot of money. Subsequently, then they go trust money to the IMF, IMF, World Bank, and then the interest rate is very high for them loan them day. So they not can get the money for payback. So the only way we then they argue to IMF is that, well, we they collect taxes with a uh, aggressively mobilized taxation. And one of the speeches where uh, the former finance minister, JJ Blood, can do na London uh, before investors, he tell them, say, we, I mean, that the SLBP government don't embark on aggressive uh, revenue mobilization. That now that he talked before investors, a finance minister. Aggressive so revenue what that, realization. What that mean to the investor then they, we not come no more can invest, we go tax winner when I go, when I go sober. Mm -hmm. that, is how they, that is how you can interpret that. Imagine you they come for who investors, right? Then you go begin to talk about taxation. That was a disaster, okay? So basically, no investor, no dairy, of course people pay tax, you know, fear and what in and cost. We see how, uh, you know, if you are a businessman, now, let's just say that me in UK, self-employed, everything what they do, what they do me, uh, for example, if I drive, go to my working place, I keep the receipts. The um, fuel why the tank. If I buy tool stamp, I keep the receipt. If I uh, I call, if if I go restaurant with a colleague, as long as he get for do with me business, I keep the receipt. All the tax work get for pay. Why they do me tax return? I they push all thing to uh, HMRC. Then they return them back. You know why? Then they do that. It's because they know say now business people that they create jobs. Okay, without business, no job. So this so is that, what this regime now what in call. Now looking at uh, Sierra Leone, for example, for do business day, uh, it is horrible. One, just go say you want to register business. The kind of bureaucracy way they meet up, you just a reverse back. And compared to a developed nation like UK, Germany, where you want to register business, like buying top up. This is where everything is. It's, it's, it's a, what's that called? So the little small, small businesses where they run a salon today, including customs and all them places, 
all the tax need, all the body they go day, they go pack it. And we depend on imports. Sierra Leone depend on imports. And when you the import, not only Leon, you go pay with. You need foreign currency. Okay. We know the export again, we the import everything. So when you import something in dollars and the currency they depreciate all the time because we know they get foreign direct investment, we know they will export, forget a hard currency. So when the more the currency they depreciate, you know they appreciate, the more than goods and the expensive for the consumer. And if the government now go come with this kind of gigantic tax body, what will happen at the end of the day is what we get to the total hardship and difficulty. So there is no political will, if you ask me, for make them change the situation. Okay, okay. The, right. the, the, what you in the bank on apparently is, um, you know, this, this um, ethnic, ethnic politics where they embark on them belief say that is the way, pursue the opposition, you know, uh, uh, finish off the opposition and then uh, the people have no choice, now you can get for go vote for again. That is the problem. There is no political will for change the whole thing. That okay. is the tragedy. Okay, fantastic. Um, make we go to the panel. Uh, make we go to the commentary side. More you will see in Sudbonitaga Hotel in terms of the one the way they view and um, in the comments. Then over to you, Sudbonita, please. Yeah, I'm um, Comrade Wankasu. Most of the thing before the panel is but answer most of the question. Let me just read it so at least the, the people that are sending knows. Yes, and one of it was they were comparing UK to Sierra Leone. And somebody says, well, um, this is from Abu, Abu, Abu Kagwa says, well, if the UK, yes, we do pay tax, but it's not for the prime minister's wife to be misusing it. Or for, <laughs> let's say, if there's a time for Auditor <laughs> General reports, then they will just disappear from that. And so, <laughs> well, for me, really, as I've always said, I cannot refer to her as that because she has not behaved as such. So for me, she's not. And then Manso also came and says, well, the GST was in place from 20, um, 2009. That was for it to reduce the stress of the businessmen. But with the power power, since they don't know nothing, everything that they're doing is wrong, then definitely they have turned everything upside down. Then again, I think Manso came here, which um, talking about Zalo Dean says, okay, well, people just need to vote 2023, vote them out. Again, I've seen this is where, um, Mr. Allen and also um, political talk that they are forcing people to say, oh, the oppositions are not there, so just vote us again. But what will remain of the people of Sierra Leone? What will remain of Sierra Leone if these administrations are left there for the next, even let's say just one year after 2023? They will burn the whole country because there's nothing there they will do. Absolutely not. And then I think Abu again agree when Mr. Allen was talking about, yes, the claims they came here with everything that they have. But again, while they are stealing, for example, the wife of mother will be stealing money based on DM. Well, I travel, so I spend this, which of course, how much would you use? How much have you been spending? So at the end of the day, they are there to loot the whole of the country. Absolutely to loot. And again, Mansour also agree that either this is about politics and then we should just things to work because at the end of the day, it is totally wrong. And as we've said before, they came in with their own mindset. There is nothing good they came to do for Sierra Leone is to enrich themselves and destroy the country and walk away. Because if what they've met, if they've decided to work, as we all said, government is continuity. This is not, this is completely opposite. They've literally destroyed everything that was in the making. They've destroyed it. So whoever is coming back, you have to start all over again. So that's on the all right so it looked like for say from all the submission we don't listen to so far we don't kind of establish say the economy we need to expect them fully stabilize or even grow then are one of the things we are to think of because the term of this government don't end it don't end i will say so now because for four years, then say we did come in three months, then go, then go change the economy. 
You give them one year, they're not changing the economy. Things are going down. They say, look, patients, look, give them chance, let we allow them and make we trust the process. Well, the process, we don't trust the process right through, we don't allow them, we don't give them chance. Four years on, we just they see the economy they go down, the debts they go up. Now we the people of Sierra Leone responsible for this. And traders they don't come to the point now we say then says they don't begin the lock shop. If people don't begin the lock shop, you know, listen, let I just share this. People did the lock shop right now in South Africa. People in the lock shop. Look at this. So, as I don't see, what do we need to do as uh, Sierra Leoneans, not just as political parties or whatnot? What do we need to do as Sierra Leoneans? Because we don't clearly see that this government you know, fail we, and then seem very deliberate from their actions then. Because we don't see anything like, you know, oh yes, we understand say, you know, the economy, they go down, oh, not because of X, Y, Z. We they see them guys, they are arrogantly, they tell we, Sierra Leoneans and the international community, how much they don't achieve, how much they don't succeed. You know, if not this, not success, what you got for B, just like how you say, if not this not success, what you got for happen if them people are so allowed to go beyond 2023, if this is success, if this not achieve, because this man talk say, he don't even achieve more than what he puts in the manifesto. Can you imagine? Bio, say he don't even exceed what he don't tell, he don't promise the people of Sierra Leone. If not this not success, the people of Sierra Leone will not be able to manage one day after 2023 elections under Mada Bio. What will be the answer there? And what will be the solutions? Over to you, Mr. Alan. Uh, Sorry. Okay. Let me just say a couple of things um, in terms of, before I get to the solution, I, I just want to put point, point to two things, and I want to let people in focus on two things first before I go to a solution. One is one of the things that we might have you being to talk a lot about when he came into power was that he was going to stop leakages. Um, and a lot of people in listen to him word we say he can for stop leakages. But we don't see, say, in the audit reports from 2018, 2019, 2020 under Mad watch that we've had the audits or general report 144 billion, then 175 billion, then 153 billion of cash losses. And you also see, say, the audits or general, they also do a real time audit on COVID funding. We see, say, under his tenure, even though he say, and I think if a stop leakage is not Sierra Leone, the Auditor General has been suspended uh, and the government is even embarrassed to bring their own case against this Auditor General. So in record on stopping leakages, we don't see all the leakages that we African, African is pressed to chair and about on the GUI, where the government not on camp with any attempt to make any attempt or challenge any of those evidences that um, Jane Oba has been putting out since like July last year. Was it deliberate? So we can see say, it's, it, it's not deliberate. It doesn't have an answer. They not get an answer to the problem of stopping leakages. I want to make that one point, the first point. The second point I want to make, and this is important, 
we need to teach people about this. One of the things that we, Julius Madabio in government, develop is something called the Midterm National Development Plan, from which was run for, supposed to run from 2019, cover 2019 to 2023. The Midterm National Development Plan that talks about eight areas where they identify. They include this big talk about human capital development, economic diversification, infrastructure, governance and accountability, empowering women, empowering our youth. Some of the key things. And why we can decide that, that document, that document is a strategic document with the Govern Salon government economic policy under Julius Madabio. What do you mean by that? Just like a way um, I buy you talk about where um, you know, JJ Blood income pitch to businessmen. This document, that uh, midterm national development plan. When I see where President Bill and they go around, they go big, 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 all side. Now that document, the way inside that document, they then say that they make Sarah alone a mid income. The plan for that document is for make Salon a mid income earning country by 2039. Right? If then deliver all then tier, right? So that midterm thing they say by 2023, we for don't see certain outcomes. And because all then donor uh, agencies, then donor countries, and they, then they take this plan seriously, now that they make way, then they go wakaya, wakaya, wakaya. You can see AFD, you know, African Development Bank right check of almost million, you know, World Bank right check of almost million. Because people in the trust say, or then still they give this government some latitude, say, you get the right intention, and they try to achieve within another plan. But the reality, <laughs> when you look at our free education, for example, as Arthur Pierce was on the um, radio a, a week or two ago, we've been the challenge in Mansilla. Mm -hmm. Free education in Sierra Leone is just about getting children dressed in uniform into a building. And that's about it. Mm -hmm. Really concern yourself about the content of the education within the get. As long as you can shoot so many people into a building, mm -hmm. A gay roof and waiting and call it look like a gay roof. Mm -hmm. Then look like a well school uniform. Free education. Box ticked. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. This same government I don't promise women then. Women's empowerment mm -hmm. is a big thing in this plan. Yeah. You know, last year Julius Madabio said he's going to allow women to have 30% representation in politics. And in every public sphere, up till now, we not see the legislation come out yet. Hmm. And up till before we go election, that legislation did not get for come, because this government now want women then, or able to be represented in parliament and other things. They want the status quo for state as it is. So why I think I point to this? I point to this because it is important if we take the medium. Not to me, documental. Mm -hmm. To me, right, Amo, it's not government owned document. Mm -hmm. Medium term national development plan. Just type on Google, it did it. We for the take this document, we for the go, not then cut by with this document. We for the go, not then attire this. We for the go, side so youth man and together. We so side market woman and together. Yeah, we for take this document, show them, and let we show them waiting. Julius Mada Bio been say, then for don't they see by now? Because see? this is not the document where they make when World Bank writes check. On a case, say, oh, World Bank don't give salon, you get the Pauper um, journalist and kid it. Oh, we don't bag 200 million, 15 million, 45 million. Well, not because this, these governments then they try to give this government an opportunity to do something. 
Uh -huh. so, the, but the reality, right. the reality is, uh -huh. President Bureau had nothing in that, that document at all. Absolutely. I just document number way just the right for the West Mark is up and down. So if I use this document, yeah. for the make we young man they ask themselves, say, you don't see the NTI with them for me. We for the ask that young, but you don't see the NTI with them for me. Mm -hmm. That young girl, when I don't see the entire with them for me, what do we say? Oh, not to me, put another month. Now then, so we need to look at that and say, what are you achieving? Because it comes back to this thing. Because you know, 2018, a lot of people said, let's give Bill a chance. He is a changed man. He is reformed. He's learned his lessons, his mistakes. All of those nice, wonderful things. And a lot of people said, you know, let's take a chance on him. Indeed. And if you run that same risk in 2023, because they can put small money in yuan or buy you lapa or whatever, the next five years will be very, very miserable. Absolutely. Well it will be very <laughs> miserable for anybody. So waiting at the solution. So the part of the solution, I think, is that, and, and the reality, and I'm going to say this because this is an APC or, uh, you know, TV media space. We all need to recognize, all political parties need to recognize that if we do not work through this COP mechanism that's been created to work to ensure that this government is removed from office in 2023, all political parties will face an existential threat. Okay. The reality is, under this government, we have seen Dennis Bright being called uh, leader of National Grand Coalition, being called by IG Suvula to attend police. Mm -hmm. We've seen uh, Diana Konomani from the APC been detained overnight. I believe no call to police didn't, wasn't detained. But we've seen Femi Claudius go detained overnight. We've seen Kamarimba who's been given bail, still languishing in, 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 in prison. Mm -hmm. We've seen the hassle where Mayor Akisoya, for example, go through mm -hmm. just because she wants to do her job of delivering. Mm -hmm. So let's make no mistake about this. This government intends, despite its failure, and it's a failing government and will continue to fail the people of Syria because it has no ideas, and it has no ideas because it not get any intention, the heart's not clean. Yeah? Now that make it not get ideas. They're not even attempt for try for understand. And that make them get everything wrong. They're not even consult. You know, I, I you know, uh, I Barry talked about not they're not consult these uh, 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 businesses about this this um, uh, GST team position, this machine that we didn't begin for distribute. They're not listen. We then don't say now that they don't say midterm census, or man talk fire, then do it in their one for do. They have no intention to listen. Right. Yeah, that mentality, that militaristic mentality called pa o pa, my way or no way. Okay. Is what this government is about. And okay. that is why it is such a spectacular failure and will continue to fail the hopes, not just of people in the West, people in the North, people in the East, but people in the very, very same Southeast, which it claims to represent. It does not even respect and represent their own interest. So we all together need to begin to get a different vision of Sierra Leone. We need to get a, a vision of a saloon force. Mm -hmm. Let's make no mistake about it. Let's not play politics here. This government does not even represent Southeastern interests. Southeastern communities are amongst the poorest communities in Sierra Leone. Well, but they would use that southeastern narrative to gain votes. Doesn't mean they represent their interest. We must do our level best 
to remove this group of gangsters out of our politics. Absolutely. Thank you very much for your submission. I think say, your submission will resonate with the, the viewers and listeners them. And I believe say, we panelists with uh, political Ivory SSF will agree with you on this one. This platform, uh, one of the reasons that make we open, we doors them to people like yourself, like Dr. Dennis Bright, like Arthur Pierce, like, um, you know, Ol Ol Olufemi, Claudius Cole, all them personalities that actually don't come to this platform, they don't articulate themselves, you know, properly, how we go from moves alone forward. So, um, Mr. Barry, you don't hear the message from Mr. Allen that we need for take this document with them people here. So they go around the bus stuff, where they don't promise the international community, say, when they come, make sure, say, by 2030, we're going to put everything in place, structures in place for make we economy become a middle income economy. I read Mr. Beauty bluff about that kind of thing. And uh, not seem say if we understand within finance ministers, them they're always the most of this. And then the most of this, they don't achieve. They don't achieve X, Y, Z. They don't go to the MCC reports and don't go um, put figures them. They don't bribe that and go for bribe. The PR system, very strong. And they go around spending the alien taxpayers' money at the international community for making them get a chance forgets the way, then the women forgets their half of token how they come and they can celebrate her all the time. So Mr. Ibarry, the message is this for going at the at the attire basis, for go sensitize, for go mobilize, like where the um uh, the acting publicity sector said to we we don't activate level three. We are mobilizing the people of Sierra Leone. We're sensitizing the people of Sierra Leone. We are telling them that this government is not good for us. This government, we know we we'll allow this government for run after 2023. And we remove them by lawful means. But yet, then go arrest this man, then detain him, keep on a cell, humiliate him, you know. So all of this, the message is this. We have to continue to put the message across to the people of Sierra Leone. Political library, how we go able to do this? This is the solution we're finding now. How we going to do this coming? And he mentioned about COP. Don't forget yeah. to mention COP into this one. Yeah. Uh, first and foremost, <laughs> you no need for sensitize somebody. We're hungry already. <laughs> we <laughs> you know, get what you need. You know, uh, this regime, they go around, they say, talk and do. <laughs> but, <laughs> this is the only regime where they don't do nothing and they, they lousy, they mighty. <laughs> so, you know, you know, you see, it's like, <laughs> it's like somebody say in the organized top party, all man get for guy enjoy. Then what he boss with the I guess with small jacket and water. <laughs> <laughs> then he said, no, but this, this is okay. This, ah, and pan deliver. Then he want make with a praise, say, yes, we, we, we life paper better, everything okay. And this is the kind of regime. How, how do you treat, how you go and deal with this kind of people there? Where now the only people, the government, this way I see, then, na 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 money when they go trust from IMF, then they bluff with, <laughs> you know, this mm -hmm. is this is unbelievable. You they you, you they go bluff say then don't give me that, you know. I, I mean, it, it, it's unimaginable. But on a serious note, the people them well well sensitized. That I can tell you, everybody know. Say these them people are incompetent and are not capable. And I will tell you, say in Southeast, you know, sometimes people then can have a go at the Southeast for good. You know, may we understand one thing. After the Ebola crisis, there was a little bit of economic, uh, what they call, because many companies then pull out. They're not able to come on time. We know, you know, the economy was was a kind of shaky because of the Ebola crisis. Now, the um, most of these voters who vote for SRPP was based on trust that they were able to restore 
then we can change the situation, especially the food, uh, um, the bread and butter, the famous bread and butter. Now they don't come, they don't create, instead of bread and butter, they solve bread and butter problem. They're not even able to solve mangrove problem. <laughs> You know, <laughs> mango and orange problem, they're not able to suffer. And always say that they go to bread and butter. So therefore, the people have been sensitized. They know the thing where we get for Duna Mona, like how we brought us it from the NGC. This is the time for put salon first. Not your own personal interest and ambition, because this is an ex ex extraordinarily situation where we need for come under. Okay, it is not it is not a usual situation where you go say, okay, then why are we need for sensitize the youth them or the people then are the um na the ghettos, na the uh, markets, na the I call attire base and so on. Uh, for say, uh, yeah, this government don't do something, but we not get the need for do more for we now. That are the kind of situation where you go, go say make a go sensitize people then. So that they go, they go vote for me, but they have not done anything. It oh, is there naked me, and plain. Me, me, me so question now, the, ask you, the, the political, the political oh, party, they all, the cop, kudos to them, made and come together. The ball for day. Now, how them they wire this power SLPP power sect, okay? Where they don't can grab the country, all right. Most of them been done they live exile for years. They don't know the dynamics. They don't know how economy they work now. Nah, nah, part of Sierra Leone, they, they, they come arrogantly, think say because they hold them title and they they for come and team up and up the people they, and do whatever they want. People then go they suffer. Then they, they allah talk and do. We don't deliver this and that, you know. So now is the time for the politician the opposition, everybody, civil society, religious leaders, the communities, you know, North, West, East, and say, no, guys, when I don't get five years, we don't give an opportunity five years. But if we have been there at the middle road, self, or let me say, when I don't do, let's say 30% of what you will have promise, then probably we will begin to say, okay, maybe the Let's say another fifty percent go come. My concern, my concern also, Mr. Barry. I, I believe say a lot of people them also get the same concern. <clears throat> them people here so deep down within themselves, they know say they don't fail we. Okay, they all know say they don't fail the people of Sierra Leone. They know say if we then get a free and fair elections in Sierra Leone, then they, then, they, then they lost the election, flat flat one. The concern with Sierra Leone and they get now, the strategy where SLPP and the Power Boys are using right now is the politics of intimidation. Right now, we get people then, when are nothing as them, originally, then get nothing names them, although some of them born like you, you, you know, one possible way, you know, you know Barry, you born na, 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 na Southeast, Kenema for that matter. You understand? You grew up in that place, you know that place, you know the society. Currently, the SLPP regime, they intimidate people them where they that are part of the of the country. Then they threaten them, say, if we see one single vote for APC, now yeah, we know say now you will come on at the north. Now you win a Kamara, now you win a Bangi, or we know Mansari, now you responsible for that particular vote state. And then people there, so we don't go to the southeast. There are people that we don't really establish that in place today for years. They got a family then they. The next thing they do for go hunt them people in the overnight, go kill them or do something wrong to them. How you feel certain people and they go be confident enough for gap during election day, go vote for APC to make the effort pull SLPP in power. Now we then don't get it. Threat the ASO for say if you vote for APC and ASO, will they hunt you, you and your family, will they make sure say you put it with the now? And there's a team already where they up and down the country, now the Southeast particularly, they hunt for people there. Notable names them, like this guy where they call uh, the Giants, Michael Kuembe, because they talk against them. Michael Kuembe don't run. 
Look, this guy, when I'm a um, uh, uh, Mansare guy, we been going to talk about this um, stadium for seeing uh, um, APC government on uh, the former president, Dr. Anes Baikuma, that in Bila. That guy, they up to now, he don't like intimidation, they hunt and people they go hunting family. The guy don't want to run. Look, this guy now, uh, Mr. Uh, Lamin Gobe, now uh, Kailang. These are just examples. These are notable APC people, where they know some APC people. If you then go, they go vote on the day. As a, a, a APC win some kind of vote day, we didn't really expect. You know, free children people then they could be hunted and they will lost their life probably. So these are the things where SI people don't implement now. The strategy is where they don't implement. How are we going to ensure? How are we going to give with people and security at the, at, the, at the country? Say where they vote after voting, they all will be safe. Because this is the intimidation when they use now the tactics for letting them stay in power. Yeah, of course. Um, um, I just want to remind you quickly for say we get about just about 20 minutes for go for low complete. So Lord just make short, short submissions then. Yeah. And okay. then now, go. first and foremost, yes, um election, uh, this regime from where they come now intimidation, that we know. But I must remind uh, viewers or listeners around that the majority of them violence here now the south, now the north and northwest now they take place. Take for example Abu Abu. Uh, 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 in Escapad, um, the I call him the, the resident minister of uh, Bombali. But he happened at Kailau. He happened at Kailau. He happened at Kenema. He happened at Arikam. Arikam. Then you get, uh, uh, of course, Lonsar. You get uh, Tonko Limba. You get um, uh, Tombo. And then you get Freetown area. So this regime, not particularly, uh, they say, this area and they will create violence. Then they create our own side. We see recent uh, the local massama. Somebody we promote now, yeah? and uh, we actually we will be the see around as, as maybe gentleman. Look, now they go under now. They threaten people. So this regime they encourage violence as means of staying in power. But we don't pass that stage there now. Today the world is a global village. Something making under boom. The whole world, they, they see. Yeah, you don't but they don't get away with that. I believe, for four say, years. I believe say, yes, uh, then they get away with anything and they because one, the APC particular don't conduct itself in a way where they not been really expect. Now that confuse them because they believe say APC is a violence party, they don't go portray that. And now, then they do all this uh, intimidation, violence, and what they call in order for provoke APC. The Southeast, they know um, from observing, yes, you get them, they get talks, then they we go what they call. But I will tell you, say, people them from the North, where they don't do not, where they born then at the Southeast, grow up, they go school day, they are well integrated into that society that nobody you now they just come on no more. You go meet them at the community, you attack them. It's far from it. I don't believe, say, the Southeasterners then, then go, go into that adventure day because okay. this government don't fail them. However, this government not go shy away, probably, like when they get them, uh, talk them way, um, I don't call them soldier team, then kind of group then they. But for say, the Southeasterner citizen, who come out, they go begin attack a northerner we uh, we actually born at the southeast day. Probably most of them even go talk uh, the the majority language they when I'm in the so uh, it it is highly unlikely according to me on assessment. But okay. this regime Mr. Barry, Mr. they Barry. already don't prove and say they will send talks then a Makini, they will send talks then a Lushal, they will send talks then a Kabbalah for go beat people and kill people then. Just like how this other guy treats. Okay, Mr. Barry, make a just holiday. Um, I want to let Mr. Alan Wayne to this debate so quickly because the concern here are from Sri Leoneans, concerned Sri Leoneans. This regime don't get away with murder right across the country, including the North, the Northwest. But there are family members, the minority are the West, Northwesterners, the way they are the Southeast. We in the Timni, the Fulas, the Madingos, the, the, the other tribes, them. we are business people, them. then they deal with the settle among the generally majority, we are the Mene, 
So they tell for tribalize this whole thing. Those people feel intimidated. Those people feel intimidated today. Some of them are on the run today. And then the Fred say if they vote tomorrow for SLPP 2023 elections, some of them will lost their life and then property them. We don't invest for the, for the rest of their life, for the whole life. How we go able to manage the mental torture where the people actually go through right now, now the Southeast. Because you go be protected, you probably go be protected now the Northwest. That is understandable. Even though they don't go kill they, they don't go do a lot of things there. But after elections, we the Northwest, we safe. But Southeast among Mendelem, surrounded by people that way in a barbaric, which have them, not all of them are just the same number among the one where the power per supporters them, right? Are we going for survive after elections with my family? Mr. Yeah, Allah. well, um, let, 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 let Alan come in quickly. Let me go into that quickly. May we be careful. Let, let, me, let me be careful. Uh, may, sorry, may I just, may we be careful not to fall into the SLPP trap. The reason being, SLPP don't come for divide the country. It is not about, it's only about them. As my brother just said, they don't care even about the Southeast. Now about their own pockets, that cabal they way come. Okay, where most of them come out abroad, we come they now about them pockets, then just to use tribal sentiment. And the Southeast, the majority don't understand that. Okay, may we not fall into that trap, then create this enmity, this fear to the Southeastern and they say, oh. Them people here, if we not allow them, then take power. Now this then go do now, then go kill we now, then go make so. May we not fall into that trap. Okay. All right. With okay. Alan, 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 any kind of tribal rhetoric. And within I barry this is very, very important. Let we not fall into a trap where the pit northwestern or western or northern against southeastern. Let we not fall into that trap. If you fall into that trap, that's the worst mistake. Political parties which are in opposition to this government will make, okay? Let me say a few things here. One, this, every single political party get for recognize, say this government done day in the business in the last two or three years for weaken all political opposition. Let's take that as a given. And under this government, we've seen, as I, I said earlier, We've seen Dennis Bright, Dana Konumani, uh, Femi Claude School, all turn up na, uh, na, um, police station. And we see Cameron, but still in, 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 in detention. Let me separate that from the actual people that we did, or where this government claims in and support base and where they represent. There's a two complete different things there. The message that we, as political opposition, especially these 13 parties that we sit in the inner court, you have to really seriously think about is when you're faced with an existential threat to your existence as a political party, what are you going to do different than you've done before? This is where we as political parties need to think very carefully about how we prepare ourselves in readiness for that election. Do we want to go into an election prepared or do we want to spend another five years in opposition? Folks, last week we see Julius Mada Bio. He went to Cambia. Him and his, some of his new recruits from the APC party, Alpha Khan, they tried to ambush Kande Yunkela. Yeah? Oh, Kande come back to We Party. And you see the mastery and the skill where Pakande Yunkela deal with Julius Madabio on that day. It Absolutely. makes 
like a lily bobo. Yeah. Yes. What you do is you tell and say you for learn for respect institutions. Me self self so an important person at this area. Are you can offend me? You show me respect. Now so we could show you respect. Yeah. We need to be able to um, separate the motivation, waiting at the underlying motivation from the reality. You see what I mean? Absolutely. I don't know for a trap at all. You know what? I you see like... what I mean? <laughs> and let me just say this. I, 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 it's very important going in into this election that we keep that in mind, that this COP coalition needs to think about how it approaches. Because guess what? Between an election, the SLPP is going to find every single conceivable way to make sure this COP not go work. Don't be surprised if by the time we get to the election day, a few parties have dropped off. Don't be surprised because okay. they'll do everything possible to make sure it doesn't work because it is in their interest to do so. Okay. We need to keep in mind, say, do you want to spend, can you run the risk of another five years? Can you cope with another until 2028? Mm -hmm. And bring 50 million, 100 million, say they can bribe you. Can you cope until 2028? We don't take that bribe. Day. Let them bring T-shirts. Can you cope this t-shirt? It will make you leave 2028. Because when they don't get to it in their one after 2023 election, then don't forget about it. But can you survive? Mm, that's and the that's not the question. Now that mm. not the challenge. And at that not the challenge. Look, all these people that will say within the one say, if na if na can't vote now, so we know now they hunt you, this is all that you can say. Look, listen, for the first time. The international community is beginning to say they do not believe that neck is fit for purpose. The international community has already started saying that. Yeah. So Listen, that you brings... cannot, even right now, there's a war going on in, in Ukraine. And right now, the international community don't begin to put measures for, say, Vladimir Putin and others. Then go so listen, you can make you threats. And when you make these threats, it will be recorded. Because someone will hold you to account. So let me not fall for that plan day for make say, oh, you make people are scared for go vote. No, go out and vote. Because if you don't go out and vote against this government, believe me, you will suffer it for the next five years up to 2028. Right, thank you very much, um, Alan. Um, I want to go into my next question. I did put up the next question, and then we we'll go over to Sweet Bonita, make it, just do a rundown of the commentary because I believe say the one that we really did run the commentary and uh, you know then self don't go into this debate. But the next question would be the visitation of COP to the former president Namakeni. How that, how that play into the politics of Sierra Leone, whether COP is ready or not. From all the submissions so right now, I think see, we could just expand in that. But I just want to remind myself, say, we only get about eight minutes into this. So we're going to short, short submission that we're going to make. Over to you quickly, uh, quickly um, Sweet Bonita. Hello, I'm Kamada Honkasi. Most of the questions have been answered, but just wanted to talk on the corruption issue with the ACCA because I think Ben Kafala made a statement that if people have information, they should take it to him and all that. And African Express says, you don't need to pay me, I have it already. You can take it. It's literally there. So that's one thing we know that they are not serious of fighting corruption. And again, when we say SLPP Pauper, for me, SAPP is SAPP. Either they give it to Pope or they give it to who? That's them. They deal with it. So for me, I want us to say it's SAPP. Either yeah. they are Pope or whatever slogans they've come with, that's them. Uh -huh. With the four years when people were asking, oh, um, they have stayed there, they were coming with the notion of APC will be Togresh, will do this X, Y, and Z. And uh -huh. that has not happened within the last four years. That shows again, oh, what's going on? What are we doing wrong? Because for now, that has made them just like, what is going on? 
-hmm. because no violence has come from the opposition. They are doing the worst. They will go everything and come back. But again, as um, Mr. Allen and Ibarry said, are people prepared to take one more extra years after 2023 with this administration? And I'm sure the answer to that will be no, because we've seen all the businessmen. Let's be honest. These are Sierra Leoneans or these are friends of Sierra Leone or these are people that lives in Sierra Leone. It's not about the political party. They know the hurt. They know the difficulties that they are facing. All of them came together and closed their store. So that says the people know the difficulties that they are going through and comes to the election 2023. There is no way anyone with their right senses we vote for SRPP. There is absolutely no way because this has sent a clear message to us Australians, friends of Australia, even to the international community to say they are not fit for purpose and they should leave. And we have left SRPP in governance because they said they won the election. So let them rule. Come 2023, we just tell the people as they are already campaigned for all political parties opposition that yes, they are not fit for purpose. So for me, I think we should be supporting our people in Sierra Leone says, go and vote for, SRP, for APC, not SRPP. If they come and bribe you, take the money. It's your money. They should have given you in a different format. If that's the way they bring it, take it, eat it, but you have to vote for APC. Even if somebody, because nobody's gonna follow you in that ballot box, nobody. Nobody's gonna enter that is you. And you know what is good for you. So whatever they give you, take it and vote for APC. That is it. Okay, no problem. I um, just want to remind we all say, um, this is the APC online TV platform and Mina Comrade Owen Kasu are there so alongside um, Comrade Sweet Bonita. The time now, na 8.56 UK time and salon time. And uh, with two very important guests that we're gonna ask you, Mr. Alan Luke of the NGC, the former chairman of the um, NGC UK and Ireland. And we get uh, with political I Barry, we in a businessman, and of course, one of the champions of um, um, APC social media um, checkmates. I put under with it. Um, we get very few minutes for go. The technical team, they observe the time right now, but we want to go to the last discussion. We'll just make few submissions into it, then at least we'll call it a day. And hopefully we will get um, Mr. Alan and Iba again for coming for way into more discussions. Um, the visitation of the COP as a consortium to the former president, um, it speaks volume to some, and some interpret them differently. Some people they say, why make now the school my host them go? Why don't I go to one party office? And um, I don't understand why I make that question before. The place matter. Now the message, the contents of the discourse now in really I feel say matter. So what, in the, what does that mean to us as politicians in, in, in opposition? Because we're all opposition politicians. Um, who don't want to come in first? Mr. Barry or Mr. Yeah. Barry, come, come in okay, first. Yeah, yeah. Quickly, no more, just yeah, quick one, short quickly. one. Um, yeah. It's a good idea, and I hope that the the momentum then will build up the momentum, and some of them smaller party they are uh, try to understand say realistically they're not able to unseat SLPP, and that uh, they need a bigger coalition with a bigger party where. In some way or the other, uh, then we will work with that bigger party for unseat SLPP. Any other thing will be taking votes from um, the, the main party where we will defeat SLPP and then make them useless. So now that make the SLPP, the, the smaller party, they need to understand it. We need to go into a coalition, just like what happened in uh, Gambia, where they will unseat Yaya Jame. Because they've been determined for unseat Yaya Jame. So they decide to forget the coalition. 
And in fact, the candidate was a, a little known somebody, a, a normal businessman. We um, he been always been, uh, been involved in politics, but let's say passively. So um, we need that kind of spirit. We need for make them people and they members of the uh, COP, may they understand, say, we have one chance, which is mobilizing the voters. Say, no, this one, enough is enough. This SLP you know, we will turn for we, that country, they do what we want. May them go pick sense for us and give you chance. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Thank you very much, Mr. Barry. Um, we want to come over to Mr. Luke. The SLPP party go do all it can to stop COP and the opposition from operating. The kind of unity we don't begin to see so now, the kind of cooperation, the kind of zeal we don't begin to see so right now. They are working now to stop COP from happening. You don't mention that. I want you expand on that, Mr. Allen. I think that's a fact of life in any country where you did. I mean, even in the UK where you and I are, you know, if you're a conservative party, they try to undermine Labour as much as you can. You see what I mean? Yes. Uh, if, you, if you're in America, you're not Democrats or you're not Republican, you try to undermine each other political party. Yeah. I think the difference in our country is that we politics becomes the be all and end all of our lives. Mm -hmm. The problem that I have with that is you, all of us, we're on this call right now, we're all the United Kingdom, right? As an example, mm -hmm. we all suffer the same or encounter the same challenges every day as black people living in the UK. Yes, to varying degrees, we all get the same issues, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we go get a commonality on all of these things, but when it comes to Sierra Leone politics, where we come from, the party, the political party, becomes a problem. So in the past, what we've demonstrated is you and me, we can share, you know, probably support the same football club, probably, you know, tap at the same area, experience the same things. But when it comes to that issue of political party, I can't work with you, you can't work with me. That's how we have been uh, as Sierra Leoneans. That cannot be good for country. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Yeah. That cannot be good for country. Because what it means is basically the country not going to ever get the best of all the experience of the total group of Sierra Leoneans who make this country go before. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? So for me, the imagery of seeing an Eskoroma standing next to Dennis Bright, um, standing with all of those other members um, who were at his house. Um, you know, look, let's deal with this. People can interpret Selenia that we, we're not experts in interpreting things. <laughs> you know, last week, Nabi, what can they mean by our old word? You know, you could get the one that will say, I, if I be come out more plain, if I be say this, what do you mean by all what? All what? <laughs> we get this way where we can focus on the thing that we know important. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What was important for me yet yeah, in that photograph is a beginning realization, Nasalo, mm -hmm. multi-party is important, right? Mm -hmm. One political party not get old solutions. It can't. Mm -hmm. It can't have all the ideas. Mm -hmm. It cannot. You know, look, when we've gone through big challenges, Nasalo, when you go through things like Ebola, when the disease strikes, you know, they ask you, you know, APC, you know, SLPP? No. It doesn't, it doesn't want to know. It doesn't mm -hmm. care. This is what I mean. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're in a London, Yasu, if you go walk to Mara, you suffer racism in your workplace at the hand of a white person. Let me ask you, you know, APC, you know, SLP, it doesn't want to know. All he sees you is he sees black. Mm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So we need to get out of the psyche of two party or one party and then get all the ideas and I ain't one getting no more important. Mm -hmm. Because when we do that, 
we just create a country waiting for just to fail and fail and fail and fail and fail. And for me, let me tell you the thing that bothers me as an individual in Sierra Leone. Once we do all of that, and we were out here, especially, some of we can be the worst zealous. Let me just say this, and I hope some of your listeners can hear. Yes. Some of we were out here, we're not feel the pinch of waiting to go on a salon. Now, some of we can be the worst zealous. So like a one of my young guys, you know, I just talk about, and I don't go now, they go tell people like, look, I say, if you not vote this, we go keep it all left England where you get doctor. Yeah? Where they eat good so care not on the killer. Mm-hmm. Then instead of you go look on my go tell the people where you don't learn in England. Mm-hmm. How they can go then communities better. Instead, where you go each now, if you vote against SLPP, it will kill you. You see, some of we with the out there now we the help for make the problem worse. Mm-hmm. You see what I mean? Instead mm. of wanting to go to Sierra Leone for say, you know what I mean? We don't learn something so we come out. Where we wait, you go now, you press the wall, you go flick the light turn on. You go now, you bathroom, you go turn the water camera. Do. You see what I mean? Mm-hmm. Instead of we don't, instead of wanting to see that happen, now we can't hear. We want to let the chaos continue. So for me, that picture is sending a message to everybody and everybody in all of these political parties. Listen, I'm an NGCM, and I'm, I'm just going to say this straight out. Mm-hmm. In 2018, Anes Koma would not stand next to a Kande Yomkela. Let's be very frank about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah? But if we're not prepared, if we're not prepared, or look for an alternative and to do things differently, if we're not prepared to look at ways that we can do things differently, mm-hmm. let's just forget it because Sierra Leone will never, never be the Sierra Leone that we envisage it to be. And all we're going to do is we just let down we own people. Let's be real. Sierra Leoneans are falling behind, not just behind the international peers. They're falling behind their regional peers at West Africa ECOWAS level. Sure, sure. We sure. fall behind. Yeah. The universities are not training our youngsters to compete at a West African at level. At all, at all. At These all. are the things that should matter to us. You know, if, if we don't reach a point now where we don't tire for C, where you put that a league table of countries in the world, Salon only they appear around number 145. Can you imagine that? We for one foresee a different Sierra Leone, and that nigh important. Yeah. And that, you know, look, I'm here in the UK. I get every reason, not for even there on this program right now. Sure. I, I mean, I have every reason not to be on this program. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I know they suffer the pinch where yeah. People in the Gosuna Salon. Yeah. You know? So, so we for one foresee something different from the things that have been going on before. Absolutely. And for me, now that name are the important message. Yeah. So then don't we work together? All the people that we surround these parties for mm-hmm. begin for get a reality check. Mm-hmm. To begin for confront your members mm-hmm. on our senior stakeholders in your party, NGC is a small party at mm-hmm. the moment. So I can have interactions with senior stakeholders all the time. Mm-hmm. And I'm able to challenge their views. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm able to pick up the phone and speak to Dennis Bright and challenge his views, speak yeah. to Pande and challenge his views. Mm-hmm. So you people in APC, in C4C, how all these other parties, PMDC, you need to be picking up the phones with your stakeholders and say, you know, boss, we need to do things, we need to be prepared to do things different. Yeah. Because if not, then the alternative is we must be prepared for put up with another five years of BO. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much. That's the only thing that you have on the table. That's the two options for you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, um, I want to see on behalf of this platform, Tell you plenty, plenty, thank you 
for you time will you take for calm articulate your points ideas them and the advice we give you uh, will you take them on board um, very very key for the platform very very key for sale unions um, I want to go quickly to Sweet Bonita, let give me last words from the commentary and maybe from himself. And then, because we don't chop almost 10 minutes into we, to we normal time. Sweet Bonita. Yeah, um, I'm not going to read most of the comment, just to say shout out to the last viewers we have. That's um, Sangari Lensana. And also we have my, my Michael Koka. We have um, Makale Kamara, Abskems, then um, Solomon Gable Vajawa. Then we have Red and Brown. Lawrence Fox is with us. Good evening. Yeah. <laughs> oh, salud. Oh, salud. <laughs> and then we have um, Israel um, uh -huh. Christ Seniors. Apparently, he was mentioning the time um, I Barry was talking about the the taxation he mentioned about the 1970s to 80s what happened with the issues and stuff but again i think that's a history lesson people should go and check up and see <laughs> because he did write a lot about it so yes okay i think they don't froze there a little bit um yes this is not the apc online tv platform and um I want to see a lot of thanks from so the background team. The right to wait. <laughs> okay, sit I don't come back here. Eh? All right. Okay, all right, that's cool. So um, we go say all good things must come to an end. And this is the end of today's program. Next week, we get a very important one back for, for bring come to one of the viewers then. We want to make one of the subscribe to the platform. Una subscribe instead of we send the link to una. When I don't subscribe, every time we we'll come live, we we'll just get a message beaming for say yes with the live. So we'll be able to watch this program also live. And this is the mouthpiece of the diaspora, not only now for the APC, because for COP also, for all opposition parties coming together, because we don't see how the rob scheme now with you know with all political parties within opposition. This is very, very good. This is a very good sign. For us, the Leonians, for CS, we got to come together to remove the SLPP regime, the power. And maybe we're ready for, for create this um, coalition to make we able to rule Sierra Leone for the benefit of the people of Sierra Leone. So, on behalf of the team, on behalf of the leadership of the APC UK and I, Mr. Mustafa Kuruma, and the rest of the secretariat, the executive, we want to say thank you to we compatriots, brother and friend, we now Mr. Alan, um, look, we don't can join we at this platform for can talk about things that will affect the country on the economy and the political side. And it left with the word for make we come together, make we go out and sensitize with people there, make we tell them, see, the lies of SLPP that they work again, that the APC one and the, 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 the people of Sierra Leone one and the work because the people of Sierra Leone cannot afford to have SLPP again for one day, you know, and also for the bank. Then people that we don't come at UK, they don't come spend years now, so then take them big fool care and go back to Sierra Leone, go talk big fool, talk them back to the country, which is very, very, very sad. But we want to say thank you and, um, for the submissions that we don't make now. So we go ask again that you go make time for we next time when this platform has to go want to follow, come for can talk to we again. We go really want to follow, we give you a promise. Not to that promise we, <laughs> but I give you a good promise that yes, you go make time for we for kind of this platform for can talk to we. Mr. Alan. I will try my best whenever I'm available. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. So once again, Mr. Ibarry, want to say thank you to you for the time you take. I know so you get a lot of um, you know uh, things that we get for do, and we want to tell you plenty, plenty thank you for taking the time for come at the platform in a very short notice. Uh, we hope say so we will come back next time for can talk to we um, at this platform about topics that will affect the country. 
So, Mr. Ibar, you just confirm with me that, yes, you're happy with this one so far. No problem. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, all of you. Now. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Mr. Allen from the NGC. I hope for probably in the near future again for me, we come to the panel. And also, sweet Bonita, great job. Um, and uh, the viewers, of course, without the viewers, uh, this program not going to work. So uh, shout out to Una, and uh, I'm so happy that uh, Una able to take Una time for listening to me. And hopefully one day Mama Salon will, you know, will come out of this negative uh, news all the time. All right, guys. So thank you and good night. Thank Once you all. Again, thank you very much. And um, next week, same time on Sunday, seven o'clock, and we go begin stream live. Them program they are soon are over 30 platform them the social media at one go over 30 platform them would view them they would view and they so wherever platform you day if we're able for get hold of your platform we they share the live so in a very short period now from now on we will begin come live on plenty plenty platform them so uh once again i want to say thank you to everybody and um, I'll go left for now with this one. Um, um, Uncle, so just a minute, before we go off air, I would just like to remind all the female this is International Women's Day on Tuesday. So please, yes. please, 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 please. I know that's that every time I just remember. So. So, Bonita, so, one of the people that promotes women that are the world. So we have to recognize people like you and all the other women then who they suffer as well. You know, they don't touch you, know, they don't kill them, picking them. The one the way the people don't die in a cell because of police brutality, police negligence, and all of that. We, there's a lot to talk about. But you know, today that the economy and the useless behaviors of this regime, the way they don't treat people them, but we plan for them. And we own plan will be the better plan. Over to you. Thank you. <laughs>